Question 1. Who was Moses' brother who helped him speak to Pharaoh? A. Caleb B. Miriam C. Joshua D. Aaron The right answer is letter D. Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about your brother Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. You shall speak to him and put words in his mouth. Question 2. What river did Moses turn into blood as the first plague against Egypt? A. Nile B. Euphrates C. Jordan D. Tigris The right answer is letter A. Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded. He raised his staff in the presence of Pharaoh and his officials and struck the water of the Nile, and all the water was changed into blood. Question 3. Which mountain did Moses receive the Ten Commandments on? A. Mount Moriah B. Mount Sinai C. Mount Ararat D. Mount Carmel The right answer is letter B. The Lord descended to the top of Mount Sinai and called Moses to the top of the mountain. So Moses went up. Question 4. What was the final plague that convinced Pharaoh to let the Israelites go? A. Darkness for three days. B. Locusts. C. Death of the firstborn. D. Hail and fire. The right answer is letter A. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die, from the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne, to the firstborn son of the slave girl who is at her hand mill, and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. Question 5. What item did Moses use to part the Red Sea? A. A rod. B. His hand. C. A staff. D. A sword. The right answer is letter C. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Question 6. What was built to house the Ten Commandments? A. The Golden Calf. B. The Ark of the Covenant. C. A golden chest. D. A stone altar. The right answer is letter B. Have them make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold both inside and out, and make a gold molding around it. Question 7. What food did God provide in addition to manna when the Israelites complained about their diet? A. Fish B. Cucumbers C. Quail D. Lentils The right answer is letter C. That evening quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. Question 8. Who succeeded Moses as the leader of the Israelites? A. Eleazar B. Aaron C. Caleb D. Joshua
The right answer is letter D. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. So the Israelites listened to him and did what the Lord had commanded Moses. Question 9. What was used to heal those who looked upon it after being bitten by serpents? A. A bronze serpent. B. A golden cow. C. A silver fish. D. A wooden eagle. The right answer is letter A. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Question 10. Who was Moses' father-in-law? A. Jethro B. Laban C. Amram D. Korah The right answer is letter A. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Question 11. What feast commemorates the Israelites' deliverance from Egypt? A. Feast of Tabernacles B. Feast of Trumpets C. Pentecost D. Passover The right answer is letter D. This is how you are to eat it. With your cloak tucked into your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Question 12. Which sea did the Israelites cross to escape from Egypt? A. Red Sea B. Dead Sea C. Mediterranean Sea D. Sea of Galilee The right answer is letter A. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground. Question 13. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? A. 7 B. 10 C. 12 D. 5 The right answer is letter B. The plagues, including turning the Nile to blood, frogs, gnats, flies, livestock pestilence, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and the death of the firstborn, were ten in total. Question 14. Who helped Moses hold up his arms during the battle against the Amalekites? A. Eleazar and Ithamar B. Joshua and Caleb C. Aaron and Hur D. Nadab and Abihu The right answer is letter C. When Moses' hands grew tired... They took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. Question 15. Which tribe of Israel was set apart to serve as priests? A. Judah B. Levi C. Benjamin D. Ephraim The right answer is letter B. Bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron the priest to assist him. They are to perform duties for him and for the whole community at the tent of meeting by doing the work of the tabernacle. Question 16. What was the sign of the first covenant between God and the Israelites at Sinai? A. A cloud. 
B. A rainbow. C. Fire on the mountain. D. Thunder and lightning. The right answer is letter C. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord descended on it in fire. The smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled greatly. Question 17. How did God appear to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai? A. In a burning bush. B. As a whispering wind. C. As a cloud. D. As a dove. The right answer is letter A. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. Question 18. What did the Israelites do when Moses was delayed on Mount Sinai? A. They prayed. B. They fasted. C. They built an altar. D. They made a golden calf. The right answer is letter D. When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come, make us gods who will go before us. He took what they handed him and made it into an idol cast in the shape of a calf. Question 19. Who was the high priest during the Exodus? A. Aaron B. Eli C. Phinehas D. Ithamar The right answer is letter A. Have Aaron your brother brought to you from among the Israelites along with his sons, so they may serve me as priests. Question 20. Which two spies brought back a positive report from the promised land? A. Nadab and Abihu. B. Joshua and Caleb. C. Gideon and Samson. D. Eleazar and Ithamar. The right answer is letter B. Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israelite assembly, The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. Question 21. What was the name of Moses' sister? A. Miriam B. Zipporah C. Deborah D. Dinah The right answer is letter A. Then Miriam the prophetess Aaron's sister took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women followed her, with timbrels and dancing. Question 22. What substance was used to waterproof the basket Moses was placed in as a baby? A. Mud B. Clay C. Pitch D. Resin The right answer is letter C. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. Question 23. How many days and nights did Moses spend on Mount Sinai receiving the law? A. 30 B. 50 C. 40 D. 70 The right answer is letter C. Then Moses entered the cloud as he went on up the mountain, and he stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. 
Question 24. What did the Israelites need to put on their doorposts to avoid the final plague? A. A mark with mud. B. Blood of a lamb. C. A cross. D. Olive oil. The right answer is letter B. Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lambs. Question 23. How old was Moses when he spoke to Pharaoh to let the Israelites go? A. 40 years old. B. 80 years old. C. 120 years old. D. 100 years old. The right answer is letter B. Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 when they spoke to Pharaoh. What was the first city the Israelites camped at after leaving Egypt? A. Mara. B. Elim. C. Pi Hahiroth. D. Sukkoth. The right answer is letter D. The Israelites journeyed from Ramesses to Sukkoth. There were about 600,000 men on foot besides women and children. Write on the comments how many questions you answered correctly. If you like this quiz, rate it with the like button. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Amen.